What is up, y'all? Oh, no. I'm so mad. I think YouTube... I think when I was choosing uh, the day that I was going to stream, I think I accidentally hit Friday. <laughs> when I meant today. What scares? Which, uh... Scares me. Hi! What's up, Ben? What's up, Chloe? What's up to Alani? There's a Rose? Possum? Nicole Judge? Mason, Ruxyami, Tay. What's up, Justin? I thought it was today that I thought it was tomorrow that it turned out it was today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Roy, Bue Green, Samuel, Brent. I was legit pumping, pumping gas and then you yelled. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Where are you right now? Ice Kirby, what's up? The coolest, what's going on? Y'all, this is Mickey Mouse. So this is Rampa and Friends. This is like, it's an Instagram Rampa, kind of like Rampa Redemption and also Defiance. And this one's actually finished. This one has six chapters. So there's a lot of content to do for this one. Um, we're not gonna be lift, left on like a cliffhanger or anything like that. And currently they're on a sequel from what I saw on Instagram. If you guys want to check this one out yourselves, it's in the description down below. You can call me Rose for short, since my name always gets mispronounced. I'm sorry. I'll call you Rose. On my way to make a quick run, just wanted to swing by and see what's up. Hey. What's up, Hydrazilla? I have Instagram running on my other browser, the one that we used yesterday towards the what, like middle of the stream. So we shouldn't have any issues, but you know, you never know. Let's see if Instagram doesn't mess up again this time. I know. Oh, yes. This one's epic too. Yes. I'm here to throw my child support money at you. I love you, Ben. Thanks for the 199. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> thanks, thanks, dude. You're awesome. <laughs> You might need to save that child support money. You don't want to be in, in trouble with the government. <laughs> I've seen it. And I love it. But chapter four hits different. Oh, no. Yo, if Oswald isn't in this, I riot, y'all. I literally riot. I love Oswald so much. Um, I loved Epic Mickey. What was it, two? Or was it the first one that Oswald was in? I think it was the second one. I love that game a lot. Cardboard Airplane. What's going on? Wasn't something I was expecting, but it's a welcome surprise. Hey. Also, please, I'll be here. I'll be near you soon after anime NYC convention. You trying to link up? Yeah. You're going to be in California? I'm already in trouble with the government. Oh, my God. Ben. <laughs> Not the government. Stop donating then. <laughs> 
I'm really sad because I feel like now that I scheduled this stream for tomorrow, I feel like more people people aren't gonna come. Yikes. Maybe they will. Hopefully it's still alerted people. Hopefully. What's going on, Zen? I'm I'm kinda buying them some time so people can come in. Y'all better get ready to cry at watching your childhood characters murder each other. This is gonna be interesting. Cause this is all like Disney characters, right? The coolest. Thank you for the five. One of my faves. Oh, does anybody know the team behind this? Like, does anybody know the creators? I don't know the creators personally, like how I do with the other fan games that I've done. So this one is completely off of like fan recommendation. The coolest. Thank you for the five dollars. One of my faves. Thanks for the hard work you put in to make great content. Oh, you're so nice. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. They have a second game. It isn't finished though. Yeah, they're on the second game for this. So we're going to be watching the first. Mickey Universe characters, yes. Time to ruin my childhood. So we have Penguin Rampa, which already ruined my childhood. And now we have Rampa and Friends, which is going to ruin my Disney childhood. So that's fun. That's like, that's two Disney products right there. Because Disney was my childhood for the most part. Disney and Nickelodeon. What can I do to get you into a cosplay? Would love to see you to join the scene. Ah, dude, that would be so dope. I don't know. I want to get into cosplaying, honestly, Ben. I don't know why I haven't. Maybe it's because it's kind of time consuming. I feel like like if you want to be a good cosplayer, you need to put a lot of time and effort into it, you know? But I feel like I could do it. I would love to do it. I wish I had the time, though. Anime NYC is happening in maybe two weeks or so. Oh, nice. The Ruin Your Childhood Cinematic Universe. Right now, we have a Danganronpa Cinematic Universe. We have... <laughs> we have Rampa and Friends. We have Penguin Rampa. We have Cartoons and Danganronpa. I think there's a Total Drama Island Danganronpa. Uh, what else, guys? I feel like there's a lot more. There's a Danganronpa 69 uh, fan gan, and that has like a bunch of random characters in it from TV. Also, if there are any Instagram rompas you want to see, I can recommend you a lot of good ones. Like, Okay, so this is a secret. I'll tell you guys on stream though, since you're here. Um, what I'm gonna do, cause it's it's been really hard to like keep up with all the fan gans, to be honest with you. Cause so many people want me to like, you know, react to theirs or react to others, yada, yada, yada. So what I wanna do is make a discord where on that discord, you guys can just send me your fan gans and you can drop like a little comment and link it to me and I'll be able to get to them like that because I feel like it would just be more structured if it was on discord like I have a list but like I feel like I forget to put things on the list sometimes and people tell me like you know like right while as I'm streaming another fan game so it's hard for me to keep up so I feel like if I had it on a discord or something where people could just come in and just drop you know their links it would be a lot easier DM me your measurements I'll totally get you a cosplay if you'd like dude I'll get um, Halia to measure me and I'll DM it to you. Maybe like during the weekend or something like that or next week. I also want to talk to you and hang out in the community. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Danganmon, that sounds cool. Did Nico Rampa get a update yet or no? I don't have a discord. Oh, I'm sorry. What's up, Moses? Who do you want to cosplay? I got you for Christmas. Let me think about it. I'll DM it to you on Snapchat. If someone doesn't know what Danganmon is, it's basically Pokemon Danganronpa. Okay. Yeah, that's what people were saying last time. I thought it was Digimon. What jobs do you work on the side? Uh, I edit for a couple of YouTubers. I also work at Target. And I do this. Do you like Danganronpa Ghost Despair? Is French ro Danganronpa? I've never heard of it. I think you'd make a good Shuichi. I'd make a good Shuichi? Watch them forget to DM me the cosplay. Ah, I won't. I promise. I've watched all Danganronpa chapters. Same. Except I haven't watched the Halloween episode. And I didn't watch the sneak peek for the new chapter. Because it's going to be a while. You work at Target too. What department? Um, GM. So I do general merchandise. 
I think they're going to move me to fulfillment, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I've worked every like department at Target. I've worked cashier. I've worked electronics. I've worked the toys department. I've worked the back room guest service. So, I mean, like it, the list goes on. I've, I've worked there for a long time. I'm hoping to add Dongrub to my universe and have the characters join my fan universe. That'd be cool. Mm, 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 mm. I love this song. I already watched the Rampa and Friends, did you? Well, we're about to start it. Cuphead Rampa and Paper Rampa. Wait, what is Paper Rampa? I think some people have already made me a Danganronpa character in some fan games. I'm actually going to be in a project called... Danganronpa Ultimate... Hold on. Let me look it up. Oh, I'm going to be in Danganronpa Unforeseen Consequences. As a character. I'll be voicing in that one. Paper Mario? That's what it is? Paper Rampa is Paper Mario characters? That's kind of dope. I wish I knew more about Paper Mario, though. I don't know much about it. I haven't played the game myself. Uh, what was I looking for? This. Okay. Let me put this over here. Let me put that over there. And we should be able to start. You should see Insta Rampa. What happens if Pony Rampa is here? <laughs> I'm mad because I was about to move to uh, back to Scotland and this new wave of COVID said no. Did they shut down the borders to Europe again? Let me turn this persona music off. And we're going to start. With some amazing Rampa and Friends, the Disney universe, we're here! The Disney cinematic doggone universe that we needed. That we never thought that we needed is here. So let's do the prologue. Rampa and friends. This is the first slide. Dot, dot, dot. It always starts with dot, dot, dot. We almost have no girls in Rampa and Friends. Wait, really? You're lying. Ow. What happened? My head hurts so much. What the heck happened? Hey. Hey, honey, get up. Gores. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this one seriously. Gores. Do you think he's hurt? Ah, uh, he's fine. Mick. Hey. Mickey. Mickey. Right. My name. Goofy's here, bro. <laughs> My name is Mickey Mouse. I'm the ultimate entertainer. That's actually a perfect talent. For Mickey Mouse. Bro, what is Goofy going to be, bro? <laughs> what, what talent is Goofy going to be? But where am I? And why can't I see anything? Mickey, open your eyes. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's Minnie. Mickey. Oh, I told you he was all right. Minnie Mouse, the love of my life. Boy, am I glad to see her. Ultimate goof, duh. <laughs> Ultimate father. Oh, my God. What if his son's in this? That'd be funny if Max was in here. Well, hiya, Minnie. I didn't miss anything, did I? Also, why am I on the floor? <laughs> Yo! He's here! I love this man. <laughs> I love Donald. Well, you were on the floor plenty back in high school. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never seen anyone get like that over Sundays before. <laughs> Donald Duck and Goofy Goof. My best friends. Shucks. I guess everyone's here, huh? <laughs> this is already amazing. I'm, I'm really going to be traumatized. 
<laughs> Donald Duck, the ultimate roaster. Donald Duck, the ultimate mage from Kingdom Hearts. Ultimate detective. <laughs> Say, fellas, how long was I out for? Feels like ages. It was practically ages. We found you hours ago, but you just wouldn't wake up. We met a bunch of other. Uh, we met a bunch of other people. We're all waiting in the ballroom. The ballroom. Hey, wait. This doesn't look anything like Toontown. Where are we? Oh my God, that's giving me flashbacks of Toontown the game. I loved that game when I was younger. Ah, fooey. We were hoping you knew. Maybe the others know. We should be going to the ballroom anyway. You feeling okay, Mick? What, a piggyback ride? Uh-huh. I'm fine, Goofy. Oh. <laughs> this man wanted to give Mickey Mouse a piggyback ride so bad. Dude, if Oswald isn't here, I'm rioting. I'm rioting. Hey, Donald. Want a piggyback ride? No. <laughs> oh, Yo, everyone's so mean to Goofy. You said there were others, right? Who all is here? Maybe it's best to just show you. Toontown. Yeah, Toontown is the nostalgia. We went to the ballroom and... Huh? Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at! Look at, is that Pete? Oh my god, Pete! Hey, I remember this guy. Wasn't he in that one, uh... DuckTales? Hey, is this, uh, Donald Duck's... I can't, dude, I, I don't remember any of these characters, dude. For real. I think this is... Is that Oswald? Yo, I think that's Oswald right there. Oh, that's Darkwing Duck. I remember that show. Darkwing Duck. <laughs> is that Chip and Dale? Oh, heck no. You didn't put Chip and Dale in this. I remember this guy. He was slimy. I just don't remember his name. Mortimer. That's, that's what it is. Daisy. Daisy. Oswald's here, y'all. It's time. I know some of these guys. Others, I don't know. Others, I don't know. Oh, great. He's up. <laughs> he hates Mickey. I remember that. Ch -ch 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 Chip and Dale. Rescue Rangers. Yo, I remember that show so bad. I freaking loved that show, man. Who's that? Beats me. Oh, hush. Daisy. Mickey, I'm so glad you're okay. Epic Mickey, yep. Daisy ran over and gave me a big hug. I looked around the ballroom. There were some people I'd seen around town. Others I've seen, I've only seen every now and then. And one guy I've never seen in my life. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Yes. I think Penguin Rapa just commented on one of these uh, slides. That's funny. He seems nice. Pardon me, friends, but did either of you happen to find out why we're here? Yeah, that or how to leave? Wait, has no one tried to leave yet? Well, I did, but that bulb thing showed up and told me to just come here, so... Bulb thing? Dr. Gerald? I mean, random citizen. Did you? I can't remember what show he was on. I remember that character in particular, though. Of course not. I don't have little bulb with me. And even if I did, why would I trap myself in here of all places? Maybe. Let's not think about it right now, okay? Great idea, Minnie. I'll go first. Is he going to introduce himself? He's the ultimate entertainer, Mickey Mouse. Hi, everybody. My name's Mickey Mouse, the ultimate entertainer. I'm so excited to meet you. Yeah, yeah. We all know you. Well, I didn't. Neither did I. How come you're so popular? Well, that's because, uh, hmm. Well, I never thought about that. <laughs> is, is Mickey that popular? Hold on. I'm going to make a poll in the chat. How many of y'all really do like Mickey Mouse? Like, do you really care about Mickey Mouse? Did you grow up on Mickey Mouse? Oswald's just looking, bro. Bro, say something. 
Oswald, my beloved. I love Oswald, dude. Ultimate Botician? What? I like that. Hello, everyone. I'm Minnie Mouse, the ultimate Botician. Okay, what the hell is a Botician? That's a good question. <laughs> Don't you have any fashion sense? Actually, never mind. Your outfit speaks for itself. What? How dare you? Guys, don't fight. A botician is someone who makes and sells bows. Duh. By the way, your bow tie looks fantastic. Did you tie it yourself? Oh, she's blushing. Hold up. You're supposed to be my girl. Mickey Mouse. Uh, oh, uh, yes. He's blushing. Hold up. That's my girl. He is the ultimate father. Goofy Goof, the ultimate father. I thought y'all were trolling me in the chat. He's the ultimate father. <laughs> <Yo, laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wait, this is going to be so hard to take seriously. Uh, yuck. Hiya, everyone. The name's GG Goof, but y'all can just call me Goofy. I'm the ultimate father. Father. Is that even an ultimate? Of course. My maxi is my pride and joy, all right? Plus, I don't think I'd be qualified for nothing else. Want to hear a dad joke? Would I? No, I don't. Absolutely not. Would you? Would I? No. No. We're never doing this again, Dale. <laughs> Darkwing is my boy, okay? That used to be one of my favorite cartoons. Donald Duck is the ultimate sailor? Okay. Okay, ultimate sailor. I don't know about that. Guess I'm next. I'm Donald Duck, the ultimate sailor. Oh, hey, Donald. How long have you been there? You just noticed him? You know this one, my faithful companion? Yeah, he's Mr. McD's nephew. What you doing in Duckburg, though? This isn't... Oh, never mind. <laughs> this isn't Duckburg. I thought he would be the ultimate adventurer. I could see that. Yeah. I mean, I guess ultimate sailor for Donald makes sense if we're talking about like the old cartoon. Ultimate diva for Daisy Duck. I like that. That's a good one. Hello, everyone. I'm Daisy Duck, the ultimate diva. Ah, Miss Duck, you look as radiant as ever. Aw, aren't you cute? Not as cute as you. Quack! <laughs> That's right! <sighs> Relax, Donald. It's just a joke. Don't worry, my friend. I wouldn't come between you and your dearest. What did he just say? I don't know what he just said. She's diva. It explains how savage she is. Seriously. Oh, they would be. Yeah, I can see Chip and Dale being the ultimate detectives. Guess I'm next. The name's Chip Pine Tree, leader of the Rescue Rangers. Hey, wait. I know you. You used to live in the tree outside my house, you freeloader. You own the house, not the tree. <laughs> like, a total, like, a, like, 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 like a total gangster. That was savage. That was... <laughs> He's a quack. <laughs> Sorry, but who are the rescue rangers? You don't know who the rescue rangers are? Y'all tripping. I guess we aren't that well known. We're a group that helps protect people and stop crime. Criminals like Fat Cat say, you don't think he's behind this, do you? Fat Cat's more of an underground villain. This isn't really his MO. An ultimate detective in the house. Yeah, we needed them. Oh, wait, Dale is the ultimate sidekick. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I agree with that. My turn. I'm Dale Pine Tree, the ultimate sidekick. They're so precious. Hmm. To tell you the truth, I don't know why they made me that. I don't know why they made that my talent. I did plenty on my own, like helping Chip hunt down some missing jewels or helping Gadget fix some uh stuff. Sure, Dale, you're not the sidekick. Y'all gonna have to put some respect on my boy Dale's name. I, they're, yeah, they're doing Dale dirty. Yeah, Penguin Rampa is commenting on this. You see it on the side? 
Launchpad McQuack. Oh, that's his name. Okay. The ultimate plane crasher. That makes sense. Yep. I do remember that from the cartoon. My turn, huh? I'm Launchpad McQuack. The ultimate plane crasher. I'm a pilot. I work for Mr. McD. I'm a Taurus. I'm a pilot. Thank you for giving us um your whole <laughs> your whole backstory. Oh, and Darkwing Duck is my best friend. Best friends. Right. Best friends. Just best friends. What's going on here between Darkwing and Launchpad? Yeah, we do all kinds of stuff together. Like fight crime, watch TV, share a room, take care of nobody. We take care of nobody. x -nay on the goose, eh? Launch, eh? <laughs> oh, right. Sore, DWA. <laughs> I forgot he used to call him DW. DW. Huh? I said something LGBTQ is happening <laughs> for sure. Uh, Gizmo Duck, the ultimate superhero. There's a lot of ducks here. Greetings, citizen. I am Gizmo Duck, the ultimate int. I mean, ultimate superhero. And uh, whatever situation we were in now, I promise to keep you all safe and protected. My hero. Look, your suit looks buggy right now. Try not using any gizmos, okay? He's literally the Kibo of this fangan. Uh, oh, uh, Roger that. Dear Gear Loose. Dr. Gear Loose. Dear Gear Loose. Dora Winifred. Oh, it's him. It's him. The boy. You know him? I have seen him from the game. Darkwing Duck is the ultimate vigilante. That makes sense. Vigilante? You're a superhero too? You got that right. Darkwing Duck, the ultimate vigilante, at your service. Yeah, he got... <laughs> and he's my best friend. Naturally. Every hero needs their faithful companion. He's like the Batman of this, basically. Not to worry, citizens. I'll protect you no matter what. Hey, that's what I said. This is great. We can help everyone together. Ugh. Gabriel, that's okay. I appreciate you being here today, though. Darkwing supremacy? Darkwing is hot. Darkwing is hot. That that cartoon was amazing. Who is this? Jose, Jose Carioca? Or Car Carioca? Ultimate travel guide. This man's speaking in Spanish. He's the ultimate travel guide. Hey, wait. I know you. You were in that band, right? The three something or others. I don't know these characters at all. I know Mortimer. I don't know this character. The three Caballeros. Indeed. Are you a fan? Sure. If fan means I'd rather gouge my eyes out than listen to that screaming instrument again. What was that anyway? Ah, I believe that was Donald Solo. Jesus. What was he playing? The dying cat? I was singing. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes, Donald. The bird is from Mexico or Spain. Jose is actually speaking Brazilian Portuguese, not Spanish. Oh, okay. We have... Gyro Gearloose. The ultimate inventor. Grumble, grumble. Dr. Gearloose, maybe you should introduce yourself. I'm Gyro Gearloose. I'm the ultimate inventor. End of story. Gyro is messing with Gizmo Duck's suit. He works with me. End of story, launch pad. And he made Fenton's. End of story, launch pad. This man's Iron Man. That's basically what he is. Blaze is okay if I use your OC channel icon in my fan game. That's cool. That's Mexican Spanish, but Jose is a. Brazilian Portuguese speaker? Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I'm from the West Coast. We say gyro. Cool thing is, I've seen everything with this fan again, but don't worry, I won't spoil a thing. Good. I love you for that. This is Peg Leg Peak. Pete. He has a peg leg. 
This man looks like he's been through some things. A lot of things. Why does he look so sleepy? Ultimate car salesman. Biakua as a bird. <laughs> uh, I'm Peter Pete, but everyone just calls me Peg Leg Pete. I'm the ultimate car salesman. Oh, geez. It's Pete. He always used to have it out for me back in high school. Mouse. I noticed Minnie moving to stand in front of me, and I kind of hid behind her. We ain't talked much since I moved out with Peggy, but uh, being a dad really changed me, you know? I'm sorry. I started going to therapy for my anger, and I just uh, want to say sorry for how much I used to pick on you. Golly, Pete. Of course I forgive you. Pete smiled at me, and I think this is the first time I've ever seen him genuinely smile. Why is that so wholesome? I hate it. <laughs> Panchito Pistols. Pistoles. Ultimate Marksman. Hola, mi amo es Panchito Pistoles. I'm the ultimate marksman. Marksman? Is that a holster? Do you have a f gun on you? Hold on! They cussing this? <laughs> Why are we cussing? Sadly, no. I normally only carry show pistols, but they're for some reason missing. This is your favorite character? One of them? But that won't stop me now. We're together again, and the three caballeros can now ride again. Sorry, I don't I don't speak uh Spanish. I hate I so don't don't make fun of me, okay? Please don't. I love Blaze's Spanish. <laughs> it's probably horrible. Hold up, they cuss, they cuss at this. Please no. Please, yes! Panchito reached into his holsters to, I guess, shoot something, but then remembered his guns were gone. Oh, right. I'll stick with finger guns. Uh, okay. Wow, they can curse in this game? Awesome, I know, right? Mortimer Mouse, there he is! Ultimate rival. Howdy, folks. The name's Mortimer Mouse, and I'm the one and only ultimate rival. That's a good one. I like that. Give me a break. Hello, Minnie. Still playing with the little guys? Maybe it's time to ditch the boy toy and run with the big dogs. Er, mice. I like this guy. I like this guy. Now listen here, you big bully. Oh, gee, Mick. I sure didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Shake on it, pal. Well, I guess if Pete could turn over a new leaf. Gee, Mortimer, I sure do forget. Youch! Is that a hand buzzer? Ta ta ta. The old buzzer trick. Gets him every time. Yikes. There he is. It's the only character that matters. He's here, ladies and gentlemen. It is Oswald, the lucky rap. Wait, he didn't get ultimate luck? They gave him ultimate question marks? Huh? I, I really would have thought they would have gave him ultimate luck. That guy's been glaring at me all day. Hi there. I don't think we met. I'm Mickey Mouse. You don't know me, do you? What? Oh, shoot. Did we meet before? I'm Oswald, the lucky rabbit. Sorry, I just meet so many people. I, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you're so popular. You probably know lots of people. Are we fighting? Just stop talking to me, okay, mouse? Bro, see, you know why Oswald's mad right now? He's mad that he's not in Kingdom Hearts, bro. And I, I've been, I have been repping this man, saying that he needed to be in Kingdom Hearts since the beginning. I thought they were going to put him in Kingdom Hearts 3. They never did. What's going on, real Rosie? So I don't blame this man Oswald right now. Well, now that we all know each other, what's next? Duh, we find a way out. Gorsh, you mean there ain't a way out of here? Nope, Dale and I went through every inch of this place. The door sealed up tight and the windows all have these weird plates over them. There ain't a spot chip and I could fit through. They all have some kind of scientific doohickey on them. In that case, why doesn't... I'll say Gyro, just because I know people from the East Coast. I get you. Why doesn't Gyro find a way through him? 
I would if I could get into them. There's no opening panel on them, so I can't get in anywhere. Well, this is certainly a predicament. A predicament, indeed. Pardon, but who said that? Is that is that the mascot already? We're already getting the mascot? Somebody just told me to full scream. Who is that? Um, I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for the six. I appreciate it. And uh, it's just an Attack on Titan shirt. Simple shirt. Nothing crazy. I love Attack on Titan. Uh, we read this one. Mickey Mouse hasn't been a villain yet? No. Why, I did. What is that? What the hell is that? Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out too. Dr. Gearloose, isn't that impossible? I already said I didn't have Little Bulb with me. Hey, don't go compare me to that unadvanced halfwit. I'm not Little Bulb. I'm Mono Bulb, the king of this fine castle. Mono Bulb, I like that. King? Castle? Sorry, but... I'm kind of confused. Then allow me to illuminate. You 16 lucky folks have been accepted into a prestigious program, so you better be grateful. This castle will serve as the place you'll live out the rest of your life. What? That Mickey wasn't having that. This is the light bulb? Yeah, it's mono bulb. Wait a minute. Gyro is making bulbs, robots, and ducktails, apparently? You've got to be kidding me. Hold it, you stupid wind-up. What do you mean? I mean, there's an endless supply of food, entertainment, and comfort here in the castle. And to top it all off, there's no exits. So we just live here now? Who do you think you are? I'm Monobol, duh. And you don't have to live here. In fact, you can leave once you complete a small task. A task? What kind of task? Why, kill someone, of course. Huh? Kill? <laughs> Mickey's like, I've never killed somebody in my life! Oop, silly me. I forgot to tell you the name of the program you're in. Officially, you 16 are participants of the first ever Toontown Life of Mutual Killing. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you want out of this castle, all you have to do is off one of your fellow participants. Friends against friends, brothers against brothers. In those chipmunks case, that's literal. You can't be serious. Why not? It's a fair exchange in my opinion. Your freedom for someone else's life. Ooh, it's juicy, huh? I got one critique. I've got one critique. They should have added the girl from... Ah, what's that? That Goofy movie. Is it a Goof... Is it the Goof Troop movie? They should have added the girl from that. The, the teacher or the professor or something like that. The one that Goofy liked. You guys know who I'm talking about if you've seen that movie. They should have put her in here. Why not? It's a fair exchange in my opinion. Your freedom for someone else's life. Ooh, it's juicy, huh? Th this is unacceptable. We won't be falling for your ruse, villain. Suit yourself. If you'd be so kind as to check your pockets, you'll find your tune handbook. That one dog. Yeah, that one dog. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, thank you, David. I appreciate it. Hey, is that Lele? Hi! I wasn't expecting this. Oh my god. Lele! Welcome! I love you, Lele. I see that movie and it's so legal. <laughs> Clarabelle? No, not Clarabelle. Actually, let me show y'all. Hold on. It's not Clarabelle, though. Definitely not Clarabelle. Uh, this is, I think this is the one that Max liked, not Goofy. What's her name? Uh, the librarian. Okay, yeah, she was a librarian. That's what it is. Here, hey, she was, hey, hold on, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> I was about to say something real sketch. Let's reel it back. Let's reel it back. Let's reel it back. This character here. Her. They should have pro they should have put her in it. For sure. That would have been dope. Clarabelle would have been good too. 
Claire Bell would have been good. Uh, her name is Sylvia, apparently. Right back to the back to the fan game. She's from the. <laughs> Is she cute? I don't know. <laughs> let's let's dial it back. Let's dial it back. Let's dial it back. We're moving on. We're back back to the fam again. It'll let you know everything you'll need, like your own information, room number, and any rules you must follow. Trust me, you're gonna want to follow those rules down to the letter. Don't you dare thirst that <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, I think I can speak for everyone when I say no one here wants to kill each other. No way. Oh, we'll see, mouse boy. Despair is real infectious, you know. <laughs> Please take the time to look around. I'll be making announcements each day and night, so I'll see you later. Wait, we're still not done with the... Before any of us could get another word in, Monobulb disappeared and left us with a plethora of questions. Despite that, we all had one thing on our mind. Lele, stop. Leave me alone. <laughs> killing each other. Like some kind of killing game. Bullsh**. Yeah. No one's gonna kill each other just to get out of here. Right, Mickey? Uh, Mickey's like, I will. <laughs> I'll be the first to kill. Yeah, yeah, of course not. None of us is gonna die. I, I promise you. Even though I said that, I don't think any of us really believed it. Maybe we should take a look at the ha the handbook. I never played Toontown. Toontown was amazing. Hey, what's up, Christian? That sounds like a good idea. Oh, wait, hold up. What do we got here? The resident file. That's cool. It's all Disney-fied. Harming or attempting to take apart the king is forbidden. Wait, what? Killing more than two people at a time. Taking apart parts of the castle. Eating hot dogs. Don't f do it. Wait, what do we have against hot dogs? By at least these rules will result in a penalty killing. Do they not have hot, hot dogs at Disneyland? Or Disney World? So harming or attempting to take apart the king. Who is the king? Taking about parts of the castle, obviously, so you can't damage the castle at all. What the hot dogs? Yeah, apparently you can't eat hot dogs. I love your earrings. I'm looking for similar ones, too. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, my girlfriend got me these ones, though. Don't freaking do it. Imagine dying because you ate a hot dog. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> What's wrong with hot dogs? That's what I'm saying, Mickey. Apparently, they don't eat them at Disneyland. Penalty killings. Oh, shoot. I forgot about the penalty killings. Well, I suppose I'm not going to be breaking us out anytime soon. Why don't we take another look around? We might have missed something on our first Passover. That sounds like a swell idea, Donald. With that, we all went off on our own to look around. It's a rule because Monobulb doesn't have a mouth. But, but if he... Wait, what? Hot dogs are harmless, so why not hot dogs are bad? Hot dog is Mickey Mouse's catchphrase. Oh, he would be like, hot dog. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember that. I remember that. Aside from the ballroom, I found a sitting room, a dining room, a library. The bedrooms kind of freak me out. Oh, my God, that's so dope, though. You got to admit the aesthetic. Why is it shaped like my head? Oh, golly. Is everyone's room like that? Ew. And finally, a kitchen. Huh? Wait, what is that on the, on the fridge? What's this photo doing here? The writing's all smudged. Maybe I should take it with me. I'll ask the others later. Who is that? Who are these characters? I have no idea. It's focused on the hot dogs. He forgot about the penalty killing. But that was it. No exits. No windows. Heck, even the windows in the ballroom are just painted on. We met up to talk about what we found, but really none of us saw anything. After that, we just went to our dorms. Not a lot else to do. Well, even if we're stuck here, at least there's one thing none of us is going to kill. I might have, I might not have known some of you guys, but now we're friends and, and friends don't hurt friends, right? Friends don't hurt friends. 
No one's... No one's gonna die. No one's gonna get hurt. Oh no. Oh god. I'm... I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm... I'm supposed to have hope, but... I'm scarred. I don't wanna die. Yo, seeing Mickey Mouse, like, fall apart like that is... That's sad. Friends always hurt friends. I don't know if they're brothers in lore, but Oswald came before Mickey, I believe. IRL, yeah. It was the original mascot, if I remember right. Yes, 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 yes. You were super right on that. That's why That's why Oswald hates Mickey. That's why they brought Oswald back, like in, uh, what is that? Epic Mickey or whatever? Um, I think we need to do... What is this intermission? Was this... Was I supposed to read this before? Hold on. Is this out of order? Okay. Experimental radio take four. Who is that? Testing, testing. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Anyone? Can anyone read me? Get me out of here! Deep breaths. Retune it. Is that the, uh, is that the Chip and Dale girl? This is Gadget Hackwrench of the Rescue Rangers. I, I need help. Yeah, I remember her. I need, I need to make sure the others are okay. Hello? Golly, it works. Hello? Can you read me? Gadget, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not in your radio, lady. Huh? Then where? Oh, golly, you're not in my head, are you? What? No, I'm just in the room next to yours. Oh, I guess that makes more sense. Hey, if we can hear each other through the walls, why haven't you talked before? I'm really not allowed to talk to strangers. Well then, my name's Gadget. Now we're not strangers, right? I don't know. Do you have an ultimate? Well, sure, doesn't everyone? They gave me the ultimate Gadgeteer talent. Okay, I think this fangan is going to do what I've wanted a lot of fangans to do. And that is introduce new characters each and every chapter or maybe just somewhere else further past the prologue. Like, I feel like I'm tired of, like, just getting all of the characters right away in the prologue. I think it'd be cool to, like, get some characters, like, as the story progresses. You know what I mean? That'd be cool. But we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Let's keep reading. What about you? Uh, well, I really wanted to be the ultimate skateboarder. Max is here! Oh, well, I really want to be the ultimate skateboarder, but I guess they wanted me to match. I'm the ultimate son. Sorry, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep talking. That's dope! Golly, it's all right. It was nice talking with you. Uh, what was your name? Yo, what if Goofy dies now, though? I would be so sad. Oh, uh, my name's Max. Max Goof. Well, it's great to meet you, Max. I just hope we can get out of here. It's what I love about Your Turn to Die, even though I still haven't played Chapter 3. Yeah! That, that's what I like about Your Turn to Die, too, because they introduce new characters, you know, later on. And I think that was a good choice. It was a really good decision. Yo, if Max dies, I'm done with this fangan. I will never watch this again. Okay, so we read the prologue. We read the intermission. I think we're on to Chapter 1. I think that makes sense, right? So it seems like we're going to get more characters pretty soon. What the heck? Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Ahem. Good morning, residents. It is now 8 a.m. Time to rise and shine and take this beautiful day by the neck. He really wasn't joking about announcements, huh? I didn't sleep a wink. I don't know why I'm so scarred. These are my friends. I think he meant to say scared. Then again... He used to really pick on me. And Mortimer. No, I can't stop thinking like this. I can't keep thinking like this. That's exactly what Monobob wants me to do. Maybe some breakfast will help. I made my way to the dining room and found out everyone else had around the same idea. There was even a play out for me. Oh, Mickey. Good morning. Hey there, Squeaky. Saved a plate for you. Ew. <laughs> hey, Pete, Pete said he turned another cheek, right? Or something like that. This man looked like he got worse. Like, <laughs> he became...
mean, but dad in his life went to hell, dude. Like, he looks like your average, like, middle-aged dude. Let's take Pete out. Right, right, right. I can't believe they put Darkwing Duck. I know. Hiya, Minnie. Gosh, thanks, Pete. He's sleepy. He needs a nap. Someone made pancakes. Oh, I love pancakes. They're perfect. Gosh, I don't... I didn't know one of us was a chef. Wait, hold up. Hey. Hey, is this a Beauty and the Beast reference? Tell me it's... Tell me it is. Tell me it is. Hey, mouse. Can I ask you something? Huh? Maybe. Oswald wants to be friends now? Sure you can, Oswald. What's up? I'm just wondering when you're going to drop the nicey nice act and admit you're the one behind this. I think so. Yes, it is. What? Someone had to do all this. The saying is, never trust the nice ones, isn't it? Hey, lay off. Mickey's always overly cheerful and kind of stupid. Thanks, Daisy. I think. <laughs> I had a hyper fixation for Mickey Mouse when I was younger and it wasn't pretty. Oh, yikes. That sounds scary. But I don't really blame you for being nervous. We're all a little tense, huh? Mm. Ignoring all that pointless sh What did you mean by someone had to do all this? Yo, it's him. I, I love how they cuss. Duh. This took effort and time. There's no way Monobulb did this alone. So you're suggesting some kind of mastermind? That's kind of, I don't know, stupid, ain't it? None of us could do it. Actually, exactly. Thinking otherwise is just, just heartless. I see what you did there. Heartless, you know, Kingdom Hearts. Okay, let's stop. You're making yourself sound really suspicious, bunny boy. I'm not a bunny. I'm a rabbit. Still, though, maybe we should keep an eye on him. I like how it was heart. It was highlighted too. heartless. Why people swear this is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I can hear you, you 10 overgrown tin can. Friends, friends, let's not fight, okay? Gizmo Duck, do you think your suit has the capabilities to aid us in our escape? Huh? Oh, right, my gizmos. How'd you forget about those? Let's see here. Pies, air horns, propeller. Hmm. I don't know if any of this could break down the walls. Pies? You can make pies with that thing? Of course. Allow me to demonstrate. Wait, don't. Gizmo Duck pressed a button on his suit, but instead of a pie. Oh, that could be bad. Bang. That could be really bad. What was that? What do you mean, what was that? Your hunk of junk just fired a damn gunshot. No, I, I mean, I, this isn't right. The suit's supposed to have gizmos. That's why I was trying to stop you. I looked at your suit last night and I found out why everything seemed off on it. Your suit's been altered to have weapons, not gizmos. This man can destroy us all. What? Hold on. You just now decided to tell him? I was waiting to tell him when he wasn't all around all of you. You know, at least try and prevent a panic. But this upgrade could be useful. If his gizmos couldn't work against the walls, then maybe his weapons can. No luck. They're small projectiles. Wouldn't make it through the walls if they tried. You don't want to damage the walls anyway. We'll get in trouble. Man's got a permanent Glock in his arm, right? So, be clear. You're the one who built this suit, right? Right, Euro? <laughs> yes, I, wait, what? I called him Euro because I like Euros. <gasps> How dare you? Are you suggesting I sabotage my own creation? Sure looks like it, pal. Blasphemy, absurd, never in a million years. Dr. Gearloose is right, he'd never do this. Unless he did it while you were unconscious. Plus, all of this. Some mechanical know-how's... Uh, some mechanical know-how's gotta be used. Oswald, please stop this. Why? We gotta get out of here sooner or later. Exposing who's behind this will make it quicker. 
Unless you want people to die and wither away into obscurity. That's not... Oswald's mean, bro. Hold up. Hey, I, I liked Oswald. They put Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers to awesome, bro. My third show, man. Oh, that's your third favorite show? That's cool. Take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. What are we taking off? Hold on, Rabbit. I'm not done with you. You think I'm the one behind this? I haven't talked yet. I'm Launchpad. <laughs> what the heck? Quiet! <laughs> Minnie just sat down and started eating. We all ended up following her lead. You know, not another word. After that, breakfast was quiet, aside from Launchpad and Darkwing tucking, talking. Everyone seemed con uh, content to ignore the arguments that just took place. Gizmo Duck was quiet. Hey, are you okay? Mm. You could take off the suit, you know. You're gonna be normal as heck if you take off that suit. They did my man Oswald dirt dirty. Hey, but here's the thing, right? He might have some really big development later on. You never know. Dr. Gearloose. I've worked with you long enough to know when you're uncomfortable. I don't blame you if you don't want to walk around in a massive death machine. Thank you, Dr. Gearloose. But I don't want to reveal my identity. Relax. If anyone tries anything, they'll have to go through me. I promise. Me too. Well, if you're sure then. Please stand back, everyone. Blathering Blatherskite. Hello? Hey! He looked like a normal duck. He looked like a normal duck. That was dope. Uh, hi. Wait, so you ain't a robot? What? No, the gizmo suit is just, well, a suit. I'm the one who operates it. Then, who are you really? Hey, somebody say, <laughs> he's so great in DuckTales. I remember him in DuckTales a little bit. Promise not to tell? Of course. Yeah, no one's gonna say nothing, right? Well... He put his hand on Mortimer's sho shoulder and squeezed it. Right. Hey, Pete's about to destroy Mortimer. No, no one died yet. Top 10 anime transformations. Yup. Yup, absolutely. Lip sealed. Then allow me to reintroduce myself. My name's Fenton Crackshell Cabrera. I'm the ultimate intern. Ultimate intern? Okay. Hang on. Weren't you the ultimate superhero? They gave that title to Gizmo Duck, not me. So he kind of has like an alter ego. That's kind of cool. Figures. Only a true hero would have their ultimate with or without their mask. But aren't you the ultimate fanboy, DW? Dude. In any event, just pretend I've been Fenton this whole time. We should probably take a closer look at the Gizmo suit. Dr. Gearloose, is it even... It is the one I built, yes. I made a special mark on the inside of the armor. Someone tinkered with my baby. We'll look closer at it once we finish breakfast. Fenton is my favorite. He's a great person. He seems really nice. After breakfast, I saw Oswald leaving and decided to follow him. Hey, wait up! What? Do you maybe want to, I don't know, hang out? Gee, let me think about that. So, yes? Why the hell do you want to hang out with me? I don't think you've noticed, but I don't really trust you. Well, I just thought maybe I could help with that. You know, if you got to know me, maybe you'd realize I'm not too bad. Oswald's like, I don't want to know you. You replaced me. I know plenty about you, Mickey. He made sure of that. Who is he? He? Oswald didn't answer. He just left with a frown on his face. Hey, Mick, what you doing? Well, I was going to ask Oswald to hang out, but I guess he doesn't want to. What's up with him anyway? Yeah, the guy's a real piece of work. I don't really blame him. He's nervous. We're all a little nervous, huh? Yeah, well, I don't think anyone can. I don't think anyone's going to do it. This isn't like St. Canard. The people of Toontown just aren't like that. 
Yeah. Well, we'll find a way out in no time. What if it's Walt Disney? <laughs> what if Walt Disney is the he? Can you try to talk in Donald's voice? I would destroy my voice if I talked in Donald's voice. It'd be horrible. They used to be partners, but Mickey does not remember. Speaking of, Goofy and I were going to go wander around and try to find an exit. You want to come? Well, sure. Are you coming, Daisy? Sorry, no. I think I'm going to help Minnie with a project. She left without elaborating. You don't think? Knock it off. Goofy, Don, and I went off to look around, and we found ourselves in the common area. Do you guys see something? Anything? Other than a bunch of old books? No. Hey, what's this? Goofy picked up a booklet, but out of it came... Huh? Isn't that... Hey, that's homeboy! Jose's got a comic? No way! It's gotta be a coincidence. It does look a lot like him. But he's got two little guys. You think he's a dad? There's an easy way of sorting this out. Donald grabbed both Goofy and I and dragged us to the cafeteria, where Jose and Panchito were still talking over coffee. Hey, Jose! Hola, Donald. So what do I owe the pleasure? Do you have kids? <laughs> He's so straightforward. Uh, pardon? We found this in the living room. This Isn't that you? Well, yes. It looks like me, but... What's Zico and Zeka doing in a comic? Jose takes the comic and flips through it, furrowing his brow and muttering. What's the matter? It's just... This is all things that have happened. What? So you do have sons. Zeke and Zeka are my nephews. I'm still unsure why this is in a comic book. Maybe we should hold on to that for later. Indeed. Oh, it's gotta be Walt Disney now, y'all. It's gotta be Walt Disney. I have theories over the future. Do you? Already? For me, Oswald still looks like the Kokichi of this game. You think he's gonna be that? I don't know. Kokichi? I'm going to end this poll real quick. It looks like 85% of people do like Mickey Mouse. 14% don't. Yikes. That 14%. Some of y'all don't like Mickey Mouse? I eat cookies for dinner. What's up? Jose looked kind of shaken. Maybe we should switch to tea instead. More caffeine probably isn't good for you. That or a glass of wine. A drink would be nice. A drink does sound nice. I think I saw a big stash of something in the kitchen. Uh, it, it's 11 a.m. Lightweight. They're they're about to get drunk. <laughs> the Disney characters getting drunk together. The others left to get a drink, but I decided to stay behind. I don't think my first drink should be here of all places. I was starting to get lonely when. Ah! Who died? What the? It sounded like it was coming from the library. I ran out to the hall to find whoever yelled and ran into Oswald and Pete. Hey, did you hear it too? Yeah. You don't think that... <sighs> Come on. He grabbed us and dragged us into the library. What we saw. No, it's too soon. No, 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 no. Somebody didn't die already. There's no way. There's no way. Somebody already died? Ooh. What? There's no way! Oh! <laughs> I, I hate this! Dude, that literally made me think that Minnie Mouse died. I thought Minnie died. I was like, Minnie died, bro? What is going on? Baited. It gets worse. I love this scene. Wow. I got baited for sure. That's hella annoying. <laughs> I got a... I had a feeling that I was going to get baited though. I'm sorry if that was a hassle, boys. You don't mind, do you? Actually, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back. Okay. This one had more. Okay. 
Minnie is already harassing the chipmunks. Minnie, what are you doing to them? Oh, hi, Mickey. Aren't they cute? I never get to work on such a small scale. Help! I'm suffocating! This color is awful on me! Oh, she's giving them the... Hold up. Let's see what, what happens here. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Hold still. Ah. The sooner we let them finish, the quicker this is over. Uh, Minnie? Maybe you should let them go. I'm sorry if that was a hassle, boys. You don't mind, do you? Minnie undid the bow on Chip's head, who slammed his hat back onto it. Oh, shucks. I can't stay mad at a pretty lady like you. Smooth. Is everyone okay in here? We heard a lot of yelling. Panchito came in, holding a bottle of something. Yeah, you saw Daisy kicking uh, Dale in the jaw. He, she was she was messing him up. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. Just a melodramatic chipmunk. Hey, I prefer overdramatic. Hey, what you got there? Vodka. We were fixing drinks before we heard the shouting. Care to join us? Picoro amigo? Hmm. Not sure what that means, but yeah. <laughs> I could probably use a drink, too. The more, the merrier. Mickey, do you want to come? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, -huh. uh come on, Squeaky. He grabbed me by the arm and hauled me up. Whoa, Minnie, a little help? Huh? Oh, be safe and responsible, dear. Minnie was focusing on making bow ties for Chip now, which meant that I was alone to face the greatest challenge I've ever faced. Hey, hold up. They're about to get this man lit. Booze. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, Mickey Mouse's face though, bro. Ha, this is the life. How long has it been since we got together like this, eh? Way too long. Remember when Panchito got into that bar fight in Greece? Donald, that was you? Ha! <laughs> oh, sh that was me. You okay there, Squeaky? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. You never had a drink before, have you? Really? Well, darn, Squeaky. You should have said so. Hey, bunny boy. Toss one, the, one of those over. Oswald grumbled but poured me a glass of something. Bro, Oswald, is he just spiked the drink. You never know. It's a lighter brew. Shouldn't knock you out too much. Well, okay. I took a deep breath and took a drink. It was terrible. Look at me. <laughs> they got this man lit, bro. This man's going to get blackout drunk. How you feeling, Squeaky? Mick? Uh, huh? Are you feeling okay? I'm, uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> It just killed Mickey Mouse. <laughs> A body has been discovered. <laughs> That's all we need right now. That is literally all we need. You awake yet? Uh huh. Minnie? Ew, no. What happened? Mickey Mouse is a new guy, eh? You blacked out, man. I guess small drinks for Pete's are enough to knock someone like you clean out, huh? You were out for a while, too. It's already night. <sighs> I don't feel so good. Yeah, I know. Hang on. I'll get you to your room. Oswald helped hold me up. Everything hurts, but my head felt like I was swimming. I could barely tell when I took a step. I ended up leaning on him while he helped me into my room. Thank you for helping me. Look at Mickey Mouse, man. They're killing this man. What? I just... <gasps> no, you hate me. I don't know what I did, but I'm real sorry. <gasps> <sighs> you really don't know, do you? I don't hate you, Mickey. It's not your fault. I don't think I can stay awake. The truth is, I'm... He let him know! I'm your brother! Ding, ding, ding. This man was plastered. Attention, residents. Good morning. 
It is now 8 a.m. Time to rise and shine and grab this day by the neck. <sighs> Monobolt's announcement woke me up, but the feeling in my head stopped me from being able to stay up. He's hung over now. What happened last night? My head's throbbing. It feels like someone tried to punch a hole in my skull. Ow, 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 ow. Knock, knock. Huh? I managed to pull myself out of bed, but every part of me was screaming to lay back down. Hello? Oh, it's Oswald. Hey, I brought you some water. You're probably dehydrated. Dang it, lightweights. Yeah, this man's a super lightweight. Huh? Oh, thanks, Oswald. What happened last night? I feel horrible. You don't remember? Okay, uh, what's the last thing that you remember? Oh, uh, I was drinking with you, Goofy, Donald, Panchito, and Pete, and then I fell asleep? Oh, uh, Jose was there too. Yeah, don't worry. You're just hungover. Do you remember anything after that? No? Oswald looked disappointed about something. Well, just don't worry, okay? Goofy helped you get to your room, and he asked me to check on you. Oswald handed me the water. Aww. Oswald's feeling left out, man. Hydrate or dihydrate. I, I'll be so mad, sad if Oswald dies and Mickey doesn't find out. That'd be sad. You should probably lay back down. I doubt you've been hung over like this before. Wait, I probably shouldn't. We all agreed to meet for breakfast, right? <laughs> the idea of breakfast was suddenly really, really unappealing. Whoa there, man. Deep breaths. You're fine. I'll let the others know why you're not there, okay? <laughs> okay. Oswald went to leave. Hey, Oswald. Yeah. Thanks. You're really nice. No problem, Mickey. Let's get some rest. Aw, they're actually like friends now. It really is Rompa and friends. I completely forgot about this scene and thought daily life was much longer. I thought the stream was tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm so late. I'm sorry. No, oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally put the wrong date for the stream, so it's it's not your fault. Ugh. It was probably halfway through the day when I woke up again. I'm still feeling a little sick. Maybe some water will help. Huh? Oh, I must have drank it all. I made my way to the kitchen to grab some water, but I keep smelling something weird. Like smoke. Gosh, it better not be a fire. I follow the smoke to the living room, but... Oh, oh. hey, you Mick. Goofy. Are you smoking? I thought you quit. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> like, a like a total gangster. Yo, this man Goofy's hard, bro. <sighs> yeah, yeah. There's cigarettes in the cabinet over there. <laughs> I can't take this fan get seriously. Oh, sorry. I love it and I hate it. Suppose you're mad at me. You and Mickey always were after me to quit during high school. This is my last one, I swear. Well, it's not really healthy, but I'm not mad, Goofy. It's just... I know. I swear it's my last ones. Exactly what I used to say in high school. <laughs> Goofy's still best character. Goofy what? No, this man is a smoker, man. Kingdom Hearts took a very dark turn. <laughs> This is after the events of Kingdom Hearts. You, you see Pete. Pete has been through it, man. Mickey Mouse has, like, trauma. Goofy. Goofy turned into a smoker. <laughs> Donald's a sailor now. <laughs> Goofy. I need a break, Mickey. <laughs> Yo. I'm crying. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my god. This this fan get is legendary. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I don't trust you, but no one ever recovered from the death of Sora. Sora left Sora left and did smash. This is this is what happened once once Sora left, bro. Sora went to do bigger and better things and he left everyone behind. I sat next to him, and he moved to the side so the smoke wouldn't hit me. Yeah, thanks, Mick. Kinda funny, huh? Ten years clean of this makes me relapse. Molly was always after me to quit, you know? Oh, Molly, okay. Back when she was pregnant with Maxie, she was so worried the smokes would mess him up. She was right, though. She always was. 
Right. Molly. I haven't heard Goofy talk about his wife in ages. Did she die? Bro, I can't take this seriously. This is this is great, dude. This is a legendary fan game. It took her dying to make me quit. I got so worried that I kick her from <laughs> <laughs> They literally got this man like the serious backstory, man. This man's been through it. It took her dying to make me quit. I got so worried that I'd kick it from cancer. Same as my old man. And Max would have anyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> you know, I don't think I had thank you and Minnie enough for helping me quit. Same with Donald. Aw, oh, shucks. You don't need to thank us. Hey, Mick. Can I ask him? Can you promise me something? Of course. Oh my gosh. The funniest characters have the saddest backstory. Goofy. <laughs> Goofy has a tragic and sad backstory. Blaze. Yeah, I'm just cracking up, man. If something happens to be here, take care of Maxi, will you? <laughs> Goofy. Nothing's going to happen to you. I know that, but... It's better to be safe than sorry, you know? Well, golly, Goofy. Of course, Minnie and I will take care of Max, but... I know. Thanks, Mick. I should change the subject. You know, I was kind of surprised. At Pete, I mean. Back when we were in high school, he was really rude. Yeah, a bit. It took me a while to figure out he didn't like me. Even after we became neighbors. He really didn't want me living there. Then Peggy divorced him. Oh, yeah. He had that... He had that wife in a uh, goof troop, huh? I forgot all about that. <laughs> Death flags? I know, this man Goofy has death flags now all of a sudden. That's wild. That is wild. Bro, this this fan gang, y'all. I can't believe y'all got me to, to read this, man. This is great. This is great. Huh? They got divorced? Well, more like a break. They're seeing each other again. But she wouldn't let him see PJ in Pistol until he got the okay from his therapist. You know, the first night wasn't pretty. Peggy kicked him out of the house and wouldn't let him back in. She said he lost his temper and threw some dishes at the wall. Were you upset? Nah, I was, I don't know, sad for him. Pete stayed on our couch and just broke down. I didn't think he disliked me till then, but he just told me everything. I helped him get into therapy. I noticed Goofy's cigarette was down to its stub, so I put my hand on his shoulder. Guess it's just about time for lunch, huh? Is it really that late? Yup. You slept most of the day off. <laughs> What's going on, Wally Gamer? And I'm probably going to go back to sleep. I'm still exhausted. Gorsh. I'm sorry if I kept you up when you ain't feeling well. Gosh, Goofy. It's okay. I should still get to bed, though. I was able to get back to my room and rest for a while longer. I'm glad that Goofy could get some stuff off his chest. I think Goofy and I grew closer today. I was just getting to sleep when... Ding, ding, ding. Ahem. Attention, residents. Please meet at the ballroom in 30 minutes for a very special announcement. An announcement? Ugh. I was starting to feel better, but I still felt sickly. I managed to leave my room and was met by Minnie and, uh, Jose, Panchito, Donald, Pete, Oswald, and Goofy. Oh, Mickey, there you are. We're gonna get a motive now. Okay. This is gonna get juicy. Motive time. Are you feeling better? Huh, yeah, I'm fine. Sorry I made you worry. Oh, good. We were worried you were still ill. Of course not. Mickey is very healthy normally. Uh-oh, I know that face. Now, apologize right now. Huh? What did I do? Oh, you're fine, sweetie. Minnie turned and glared at the guys, who all looked like they were being scolded by their mom. Do you know how rude it is to make people drink like that? Apologize. Get a mini. Get a mini. Uh, it was fairly irresponsible of us to not pay attention to him. We weren't the ones pushing him to drink. Yeah, you were. Y'all were sliding this man drinks left and right. Her perfume. Thank you. Welcome. Sorry, Mick. Yeah, sorry, Squeaky. I forgot how short you are. Really? It's okay. I'm 32. I was going to have a drink eventually. 
You're 32? I thought you were 91. Sheesh! Yikes. Huh? Did you say something, Oswald? No. Well, we've apologized, so perhaps it's time to head to the ballroom as requested. I doubt keeping our captor waiting is a good idea. Yeah, let's go together. Yikes. Oswald is hitting this man left and right. He's cracking the jokes. We made our way to the ballroom, talking together off and on. We all felt a little tense, but I guess that makes sense. Oh, hey, that rhymed. Stop. There you guys are. We were waiting for you. What did Monoball want? Who knows? He won't tell us. Oh, excuse me for wanting to wait for everyone to be here first. Ahem. It's been two days since we all began living under the same roof, and I've never been more disappointed. Not a single corpse. No murder plans. What the f***? I give you guys the opportunity to kind of get away with murder, and you're squandering it. Yeah, well, you might be disappointed, but I'm proud of us. We said we won't fall for your trick, and we've stuck with it. You sure have. But for how long? What are you implying? He looks 18, and Oswald looks 22. Yeah, Minnie was putting the guys in check for sure. I'm implying that it's time for an old classic, an original, a motive. What's this for? Hit play and find out. I exchanged a nervous look with Minnie, then put the headphones on and opened the tablet. All that was there was a video. Ah, young love. It's so tooth achingly sweet, isn't it? Take Mickey and Minnie Mouse, for example. Lovebirds are mice that have been together since the beginning, despite Mickey's horrible haircut in high school. Thick and thin, they've been through it all. Isn't it romantic? Aw, that's so cute. You know what makes romance stories even better? A happily never after. It'd be such a shame if someone else died, but an even bigger shame if that was someone, if that someone was poor Minnie. I have my ways to make it happen too. A friend who can help. Well, let's keep that between you and me, huh, Mickey? You would never do that. I took the headphones off. I felt numb. I looked at Minnie, and she looked at me. She took my hand and held it tightly. That, that was... Why, you... Donald tried to make a run for Monobulb, but Launchpad stopped him. Whoa! Heard that guy's against the rules, remember? Let me go! What did you do to them? Where are the boys? Nothing yet. What do you think the motive's for? In case you hadn't guessed, these motives are a little different for each of you. But the atmospheres are, are the same. If, if Minnie dies, I'm suing. I'm suing. I'm literally gonna sue. Kill someone or someone you care about goes kaput. All it takes is one body and all the hostages will be free. You know. Unless they're inside the castle already. Monobulb left again and left us with more questions again. Inside the castle? Oh, they could be here, huh? Because Max and uh, Gadget are here. Is Donald on about Huey, Dewey, and Louie or whatever they're called? Yeah, I think it is them. Yeah, he did mess with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. That's probably mine. He threatened Mickey. But... I won't kill anyone. I'll protect him no matter what. Minnie held my hand tighter. So if one person dies, then all the threats are lifted? It seems that way. Kill me. What? Kill me. If if it's going to save people, then I... Shut up, Buckethead. It's not going to solve anything. Yeah, we're not going to play his game, no matter what. Just don't talk like that, okay? We're going to be fine. You're right. Sorry. I'm just... Nervous. Yeah, it's it's not Lewis, it's Louie, but I think I think it's auto-correcting for them. Murderous motive aside, my sister said hello again, Blaze. Hi, welcome. My only Mickey related memories are a nightmare and the mouse katool thingamajig. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. I know Mickey's house of mouse. You remember that? Gyro was very awkwardly padded. Uh Gyro very awkwardly padded Fenton on the shoulder. Even though it was weird, it didn't seem to appreciate it. Maybe, maybe distractions in order, yes? Something to take our minds off of this? Yeah, I think I saw some games in the sitting room. 
A game sure would be fun. Hey, yeah, let's do that. Well, sure, what the heck? Oh, we're playing games? Someone's already gonna die. Give me a break. Games at a time like this? I'm with Mortimer on that. Hm. Enjoy your childish games. I shall be in the kitchen, preparing tonight's dinner. Y'all already know how this goes. Huh? Have you been the one cooking, Darkwing? Yeah, he's great at it. He cooks for me in it. A look was exchanged. The other me all the time. Yep, two me's. Jesus Christ. Well, thanks for cooking, Darkwing. You've been a big help. Hmm. Don't thank me, citizen. He looks really happy that I thanked him. We ended up splitting up. Anchito, Jose, Donald, Pete, Goofy, Minnie, and I went to the sitting room to play some games. Oswald, Chip, Dale, Mortimer, and Gyro went to the rooms. And Daisy, Launchpad, DW, and Fenton went to prepare for dinner. I'm scared, y'all. I'm really scared. Watch those lights go off or something? Oh, yeah. I'm scared. Huh? What's up? This could be useful. Hey, did you find the game? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Ahem, it is now 8 p.m. Night hours have now begun. Make sure to lock those doors and remember, do be afraid of the things that go bump in the night. Well, that was fun. But we should probably head to dinner. Oh man, you're right. We've probably been waiting for ages. We've been waiting for ages. Like a... <laughs> like a spacio is gonna get cold. It's supposed to be cold. <laughs> That's why I laughed. <laughs> Hi KP, how you been? Sorry, we're here. Hi guys. You want to believe how good Darkwing is at cooking? Reminds me of how Goofy cooks. Yeah, dads cook alike. Ugh. Dads. Darkwing Duck has kids? Dad. You have a kid? Yeah, I was thinking I was thinking the same thing. Wait. Oh, I was supposed to say that I was. Oh wait, what? Oh, I was supposed to say that, was I? Ah, uh, yes. I was trying not to say anything. But my profession is not a good idea for people to know about her. I thought I remember him having like a sidekick or something, right? Like a little like <laughs> Violet? I don't remember that. I understand. Protecting the people we care about is important as heroes. Let's try not to pry about this. If you don't want us to know about her, we don't have to talk about her. Gosselin? Darkwing adopted a girl named Gosselin, and he raises her with Launchpad. Oh. Thanks, Buckethead. No problem, Gothball. Hey! We had a really nice dinner. I didn't think DW was such a good cook. Or that he's a dad. I think, I guess there's a lot of surprises around here, huh? After dinner, some of the guys went to have more drinks, but Minnie stepped in before they could rope me into it. I really need to talk to her. She took my hand and I was hoping I wouldn't show I'm shaking, but... Hey, Minnie? Hmm? Minnie, I'm, I'm scared. I'm so scared. What if, what if something happens to us? What if something happens to you? Oh, Mickey, nothing's going to happen. You should know that. I know you care about everyone, Mickey, but we care about you too. I hate seeing you like this. To tell you the truth, I'm nervous too. Seeing that video, it's terrifying. But I just keep remembering, we're all friends. Even Mortimer and Peter getting along with everyone. Who's Goslin? I I don't even remember to be honest with y'all. It's been a long time since I've seen Darkwing Duck. Mickey, we're gonna survive this, I promise. Please don't worry so much. Oh, okay. Do you want to sleep in my room tonight? It might help. Well, sure. I don't see the harm. Mini and I fell asleep next to each other, and for the first time since I've been here, I was able to actually sleep well. The next morning, no one seemed to want to actually talk about the motive videos. Darkwing was hanging around Launchpad more, but I figured I shouldn't bug them. Darkwing is a dad. I can't imagine what was in his video. I don't think I want to imagine it. I... I guess I have some free time. Who are we gonna hang out with? Gazelin is Darkwing Duck's adopted daughter. See, you guys are learning things, right? This is all lore you guys didn't know. You're getting it here. I left my room and went to the library. Maybe there's a book that could help me pass the time. Oh, uh, Mortimer's here. 
Oh, geez. Mortimer beat me to it. Huh? I don't think he could read. Maybe I can sneak out before he sees me. Well, if it isn't Mickey Mouse, this is the fella I wanted to see. Shoot. Hiya, Mortimer. What's up? I've been thinking, pal. I think I finally figured out why you're so insufferable. Hmm? It's your love life. Does he talk about anything else? Bro, he really wants that Minnie Mouse. How long have you been with Minnie? 17 years, 15 hours, 10 minutes, and 13 seconds. You got it down to the second, okay? And how many former flames do you have? Oh, uh, zero? There it is. You've been with the same gal too long. That's why you're depressed and stuff. No, I'm pretty happy with my love life right now. Then why do you seem so upset? We're in a killing game, Mortimer. Well, sure, yeah. Listen, though. This is the perfect chance for you to branch out a bit. Sure, there's only one other lady here, and she's terrifying. But you, but you don't just swing one way. No. No. Absolutely not. We're not going to do this. This is what we're not going to do. No. Mortimer. We're going to we're going to slow down. Time out. Time out. No. We're not going to do that. I already said I don't want to. I love Minnie and I just can't picture being with anyone else. Plus, I know what you're doing. What? I ain't doing nothing. You're going, <laughs> you're going to try to talk me into asking out someone else. When I say no, you'll make it seem like I did. Make Minnie upset, ask her out, then I'll end up clearing things up and we ignore you. You did the same thing three weeks ago. Mm. Mortimer, do you do anything else besides try to break Minnie and I up? I'm getting a little worried. I'm gonna go. Mortimer didn't answer me and just left. I was a little mean, but I really just wish he'd stop being so rude to Minnie and I. I think we grew closer, kind of, maybe. Mickey's Mortimer, we're in a killing game, has the same vibes as Larry. I'm on DuckTales. <laughs> Welcome, Sangled. I hope you've been good lately. Thanks for coming to the stream. I decided to leave the library and see if the bookshelf in the sitting room had anything. Oh, hey, Mickey. Hi, Donald. Donald had something he was keeping, on, uh, keeping to the side. Is that... Donald, is that your video? I'm not gonna do anything. I was just... I'm worried about the boys. Maybe... Maybe you should keep watching it. There's only Huey. Huh? Oh, no! All three of them were there at first. But when it cut away, Louie and Dewey weren't there. Those three are always together. He's messing with us, Donald. They're safe. I know they are. <clears throat> Why don't we talk about something else? Since you, Jose, and Panchito are here, do you think you're going to play something? Mm. One of her thinks Daisy's terrifying. Hey, what? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Why would you do that to Donald? What about the other two? I don't know. Daisy's the prettiest girl in the world. She's ten times smarter, nicer, and sweeter than Mortimer could ever be. <laughs> The rest of Donald's rant got drowned out by his quacking. Do you feel better? Yeah, I kind of do. Mostly just pissed. <laughs> do you really think it's faked? Of course it is. He threatened me, remember? I'm right here, so that video could have been really... So that video could have have really happened. Wait, what? That video couldn't have really happened? I think that's what he meant to say. I should leave out that my video was just old pictures of us. Hey, yeah, you're right. This is all baloney anyway. And about the show, maybe I could talk Jose and Panchito into performing. It'd be not, it'd be uh it'd be something to do at least. There's the spirit. Best ducky couple. Donald and I grew a little closer today. By the way, did you see the new section on the monopad? Huh? What new section? Oh, for the love of look! Donald showed me his monopad and the new section added to it. It's just a bunch of words. Unique weapons have been given to all participants. Please look in your room's chest of drawers. Third drawer down. Weapons? They gave them weapons? Weapons. How else am I going to have you guys kill each other in fun little ways? Whack. What are you doing here? 
Explain this little plot device. I planted those secret surprise tools that'll help you later so we can have some extra fun. A murder with a kitchen knife's great, but a bazooka? Way cooler. Also, Mickey, I overheard your talk with Mortimer. You wouldn't think that you'd had any room in your heart for a robot light bulb, uwu. No, we're not doing this. I grabbed Donald's arm and left immediately. Wow. How did he make that noise with his mouth? I don't want to think about it. Donald and I parted ways and I was on my own until nighttime. It's a fun surprise tool that'll help us later. Right. Bazooka, that's cool. The bazooka would be pretty cool. But wouldn't that damage the, the castle though? Wouldn't that be against the rules? Mickey, do you want to stay in my room tonight? Sure. Hey, hold on, what is happening here? Hey, hold on, I don't know, there, this shouldn't be happening. We passed by my room on our way over. Do you want to go in? Look at the surprise tool. Why does that phrase sound so familiar? But, uh, I'd rather not. I locked my door as a double measure, even if I'm not in it. A weapon's in there. Meaning I went to bed. It wasn't too eventful today, except for Donald. He should be okay, though. We're all gonna be okay. Ugh. <sighs> Bang! Huh? Minnie, did you hear something? Hmm, go back to bed, honey. Minnie kills Mickey, then the fan game ends there. Yikes. Bang! Whoa! We passed by my room on our way over. <sighs> Mickey! It's nothing. Go back to bed. Ah! Whoa, what? What was that? Minnie already was up. The scream must have woken her up. She already had me by my uh by the arm. Minnie, wasn't that Donald? <gasps> Not Donald! Come on! Donald! Minnie ran down the hall and I followed. We ran into literally we ran into, literally into, Launchpad, coming out of his room. And Darkwing, who was also coming out of Launchpad's room. Did they, did they have to put that there? Something LGBTQ was happening. <laughs> Let's deal with that later. Hey, what was that? Have you seen Donald? What? Is he hurt? We don't know, but... Just then, we saw Donald come stumbling from back from the dining, dining room. The ship? Implications? Apparently. Oh my god, look at Donald's face. Donald, you're all right. What happened? Donald very shakily pointed to the dining room. Darkwing pushed past us and opened the door. Launchpad, keep them out of the room. What is it, DW? Just do it. Hang on, you're not keeping us out. What's in there? Trust me, you don't want to see that. Minnie shoved past Darkwing and went into the dining room. I followed, but I was really, really nervous. No one's gonna kill each other. No one's gonna kill each other. No one's gonna kill each other. No one's gonna kill. But no one's gonna kill each other. That's what we would hope. Oh no. No one's. No one's. No. 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 Oh my god! That's terrible! How could you kill P? Out of everyone! Oh, that blood though. That, that's gruesome. That is gruesome. Not Pete. I loved Pete. He was actually like really cool. I guess it, y'all. Minnie is the killer. Ah. Uh... Minnie didn't kill Pete. Why would she kill Pete? No, 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 that's, that can't be. Pete? Ding, ding, ding. A body has been discovered. Please come to the ballroom for an extra special announcement. This, this can't be happening. Is he really? DW sucked in a breath, pushed past us and knelt down to the body. He looked over it briefly, grimacing the whole time. Damn it. Donald put his hand on my shoulder. He felt just as nervous as I did. Come on, Mick. He helped Minnie take me out. 
I didn't want to move. Everything felt numb. I feel like Donald would fit being a first killer. Don't say that. I don't want anybody to be the killer. Who, who would do this? Chapter one, life's full of rough choices. Dang. This is where the deadly life starts. And that's what we're going to do in the next stream. No way it's goofy. No, it can't be goofy. Y'all got to stop lying. I don't want it to be goofy. And I also don't want it to be Donald. And you be the killer, Blaze. I'll be the killer in place of these Disney characters. This is sad. This is legitimately sad that we're seeing Disney characters kill each other. Because I like Pete. I like Donald Duck, Darkwing Duck. This is sadder than Penguin Rapa. I think Minnie is the killer. The killer was, Stor was Sora. I'm very out of the loop, but very excited for the next trial. I don't think Goofy is the killer. We need to hug Mickey. You will cry. I know who it is. I'm so tempted to keep reading it. If you guys want to keep reading, it's in the description below. You can check it out for yourself. Rampa and friends. Um, it's on Instagram. It's an Instagram Rampa. Hit that like button. If you guys want more of this, I truly appreciate it. It helps me out. And this is cool. I didn't think that I would be able to take this seriously. And I thought it was going to be like really lame. But this is actually a pretty decent fan gan. Someone that I really don't want to die is Goofy. I thought Goofy was going to die in this in this episode because they kind of gave off some death flags, but he didn't. So I'm kind of glad. When are you going to make the Discord? I don't know. I'm not giving that a release date, but it'll be like in the next month, you know? Sora's in Smash because he killed all his Disney friends, right? Support Empire Spade, the creator, and also my best friend. Tofu's here! What's up? Dude, Empire Spade is dope. I was just about to ask, because I asked earlier in the stream, Tofu. I was asking, like, who's the creator of this fangan? Because I don't know them. I usually know the creators of the fangans that I do. But this one, I don't. React to Lazy Rampa? Is it, if it's Lazy Town, absolutely not. Hey, Tofu. The creator's your best friend, apparently. They're also my partner. <gasps> oh! Tofu, that's dope. Shouts out to both of you guys. You guys are awesome. Tofu, I saw you commenting on the Instagram on the, all these posts. So that, that that links up. That definitely links up. Because I was like, Penguin Rampa? Tofu? <laughs> that's so adorable. What's wrong with Lazy Town? I don't know anything about Lazy Town. I didn't grow up in that era. Like, Lazy Town came out, like, right after... I stopped watching like Nick Jr. and stuff like that. Dong and Rampa 69. Uh, some of y'all told me about that one last time. Maybe we'll check that one out. That one looks goofy. <laughs> like literally goofy. Yeah, we've been supporting each other from the start. Oh, that's so cool. And you guys both have awesome fan gans. Like Penguin Rampa. Shouts out to Penguin Rampa. It's great. We still need to watch your Halloween special, Tofu. I haven't watched it yet. I'll probably watch it this weekend and uh, post a video of it. But yeah, that's dope. But now we have Penguin Rampa and we have Rampa and Friends. And then there's a sequel to Rampa and Friends. So if you guys want to watch this for yourselves, like it's finished. The first one is finished. They're on the sequel, which is kind of like Dong and Rampa 2. That one's happening. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with that, you can. I'm hoping other characters from the series like Maribel and stuff like that are or Clarabelle are in that one. That'd be dope. Watch it now, please. Dragon Rampa 69 is good writing. But don't worry. We need Monster High Rampa. That'd be cool. I I I would read that. I would read Monster High. If someone makes a Monster High or if they make a uh what's that other Hold on, let me see if I can find it. There's Monster High, there's Bratz, and there was like something else that was like Bratz in Monster High, and I can't remember. It's really like, it was really underrated. People didn't like it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Hold on.
Ever after high? No, 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 no. And not American Girl. We're not talking about that. Rugrats? No. Ratzillas? No. We know about Brats. There was another one. Was it My Scene? Is that what it was called? My Scene or something like that? Winx Club. Winx Club Rompa would be dope. Yeah, it was my scene dolls. I just found them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that was like Barbie's like whole line or whatever that was supposed to like compete with brats. I'm going to go see Rampa and Friends. Also, Kingdom Cross Dong and Rampa would be awesome. Kingdom Hearts would be cool, yeah. Mario Rampa sounds cool. I had the dolls from my scene. Yeah, people don't remember that because they were supposed to be like competitors to brats and like brats were just better than my scene, so. Shadow, what's up? I like the online Mycene games. Yeah, they had a few really good ones. SDR Next Generation. I think that one's on my list. Basically, the next generation of the Canon Rampa series. Look up Danganmon. Is Danganmon an Insta Rampa? Or is it something else? Family Guy, South Park, and American Dad, Dog and Rampa. My thing about it is, if there's a Pokemon Dog and Rampa fan gan, is it Pokemon Trainers or is it the Pokemon? You feel me? I have to check that one out though. Apparently, Dog and Mon has seven complete chapters, so that's another. See, like these Instagram Rampas. They finish, bro. If y'all want to watch finished content, Instagram rompas are, is where it's at. Damn, if it was both, it'd be heartbreaking. World's End Club rompa would be cool. Because I like the World's End Club uh, characters. Although they're pretty young, so it'd be kind of sad to watch them die, though. Anime rompa? There's an anime rompa? <laughs> There's lots of fan game rompas. Yeah, dude, that's that's pretty creative. Are any of you interested in a Winx Club rompa? I would be. Why not? Who doesn't like Winx Club? Oh, tripping. Danganmon is the Pokemon. Is it like the Pokemon made into humans? Because if if it's like Pokemon made into humans, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be clean. There's a Dork Diaries Rampa. Human versions of Pokemon. Oh, that's super dope, bro. There better be a Jirachi. There better be a Jirachi. If there's no Jirachi, I riot. I think the Pokemon made into humans. Okay, yeah, that's cool then. That's a cool concept. I could rock with that. You could have representatives from like just about each and every generation of Pokemon. There is. A we are watching that. There is a Jirachi. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Jirachi is one of my favorite Pokemon, dude. Hi, Blaze. I'm late. Welcome. Uh, we're about to. We're actually about to end. You came in at a, a late time. I'm sorry. But thanks for stopping by. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, Rampa F for life. I could make a Danganronpa fan novel on Wattpad. Seeing there's nothing to do lately. Dude, like, the Pokemon Danganronpa are the creator's favorites. Oh, that's cool. Literally every character is Blaze. Someone tell me, is this just started or ending? It's, it's just ending. Yeah, we're about to end. I'll pretend I know what all this Pokemon lark is. You don't know Pokemon? Oh, whoa, what is happening? Dude, these, these Instagram Rampas are dope, though. How come I didn't get into these like earlier? Because a lot of you guys were shouting at me like do Instagram rompas and I was like, ah. And then I did Penguin Rompa because Penguin Rompa had videos and I really liked that and I enjoyed that. And then what was the next one that we did? Cartoons and Cartoons and Danganronpa is not a Penguin Rompa though. Or it's not an Instagram Rompa, is it? It's not an Instagram. I don't think it is. 
a redemption rampa we did redemption rampa and once we did redemption rampa i was like all right these instagram rappers are pretty freaking dope these are clean and we're about to get a we're about to get a finish on that pretty soon and i think they're gonna do a redemption rampa too insta rampas were a crazy time last year last year is when they were really hype huh wattpad fangans are a fun read that'd be cool my fangan is called danganronpa defying despair Little Witch Rampa. Hey, isn't there a Total Drama Island Dog and Rampa? Let me see if I can find that. I I would read that. I'd probably have to watch uh, Total Drama Island just one more time before I watch it or read it. But that'd be that'd be pretty dope. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it was a cool distraction for everyone during the pandemic. Yeah. Understandable. There was a Total Drama Dangan, but it was canceled. Aww. Total Rampa Island got canceled, unfortunately. That sucks. Aww. That, that's a good idea, too. That's such a good idea, especially with the Season 1 cast. Aww. I would so watch that. I'd so read that, that whole thing. If someone makes that, if someone redoes it with the season one cast, let me know. Hit me up. I will I will shout you all out. I will watch every single thing that you put out. I love Total Drama Island. I'm a huge fan. Hyper Danganronpa Melancholy stream win. It's playable. Oh, that sounds cool. How playable is it, though? Like, how long? How many chapters we got? Or is it just a prologue? Blaze Rampa. I love Total Drama too. Yeah, Total Drama Island is dope. Only to the prologue. I'll, I'll still check it out. I'll sound dumb, but what the heck is Total Drama Island? Oh, whoa. I need you. Oh, whoa. Let me know. Do you have Netflix? I just need to answer to that one question. If you don't have Netflix, that's fine too. You can just go on YouTube. Look up Total Drama Island. It's a cartoon back in the like, I would say mid 2000s, like 2005 to 10. It lasted a long time. There's a lot of seasons for it. But season one of Total Drama Island, I need you to go watch that. Find that somewhere. If I did, I would have seen Squid Game already. Dang. Maybe you can find it. I think some channels on YouTube might have put out season one. You know what I mean? Illegally on YouTube. I'm not telling you to watch it illegally, but it's illegal. Wait, hold on. I think there's a total drama. Oh, you oh, hold up. Check this out. Check this out before we leave. Look at this. There is a total drama channel and it has all of the episodes on it from season one's here. It's all here. Go watch it. Just watch one episode. You don't have to watch like all of these. I'm not saying like go watch every single season. Just go to season one, watch episode one. Tell me what you think about it. Yep, yep, yep. That's pretty dope. I didn't know like YouTube had the seasons. They even have season three, season four, season five. I don't even know if this is legal. Does Cartoon Network own this channel? <laughs> I don't know if this is legal. I'm not shouting it out. I'm not trying to like tell people to pirate, but uh, it's here. Rise Noah stands. Let's go. Okay. With that being said, I appreciate everybody for coming in. I'm glad we could talk about Fang and Rampas and stuff. Rampa and Friends was fun to just chill out and hang out with you guys and talk about and read for you. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Illegal practice is fun. I'm just saying. Have a good day, y'all. Bye.